uh, here at the November Whitman Baltimore Expo. It's one of the best coin shows of the year. It's uh, probably the last great coin show of the calendar for the 2017 year. So we're here to chat with other dealers, learn about what's going on in the market, hear about it from their perspective, and uh, hear, you know, get suggestions for improvements we can make at CDN. And what's going on with CDN? Um, actually, it's been a really exciting year at CDN. There's a lot we did in 2017 and even more in 2018. Uh, in 2017, most recently, we've added a CAC pricing to our wholesale sheets, which is now can be found on the blue sheet. We recently came out with an with a iPhone app and Android, which you can download at the store for free. And we also have prices published on our website, and all in the last few months. So it's a lot been going on, and we've got a lot of great ideas that we couldn't build on until we had those things uh, in the works. So now we can go on to bigger and better things, including um, our, our latest incarnation is something that I'm prototyping here at the show. It's the first time anyone's seen it. It's called the CPG uh, Market Review. CPG stands for Collector's Price Guide. It's sort of the retail price guidance of coins based on the gray sheet wholesale. And so uh, now those prices move in lockstep and collectors will soon be able to have an entire publication with our complete values, which can be found now in the numismatist, which is published by the ANA, but only in piecemeal. So our publication, which will come out quarterly, uh, is going to be available with all the prices and it's a really exciting project that we're working on. So I'm just here with some prototypes to talk to dealers about it. And how would you describe the coin market overall? The coin market ending in 17, uh, dealers are telling us that the market is decent. So maybe on a 10 scale, we're talking about a seven. Uh, some prices are down. We're seeing some uh, supply problems in certain series like Morgan Dollars, where there's more supply at the high end than there were. But we're also seeing where fresh collector coins that we price in the supplement and the quarterly issues are in strong demand. And when fresh material collections have been off the market for several years or more come up for auction, they do really well.